Hello, everyone. Former Auburn tight end Philip Lutzenkirchen, a fan favorite who played on the 2010 national championship team, has died in a one-car crash in Georgia, the state police said. Authorities said Lutzenkirchen, 23, was ejected from a 2006 Chevy Tahoe when it overturned several times near LaGrange early Sunday morning. He was a passenger in the vehicle. Auburn coach Gus Malzen called Lutzenkirchen a great player and competitor and a great teammate and friend of the field. This is a sad day for the entire Auburn family. I find peace knowing that even though Philip was taken from us too soon, that he lived his life to the fullest, leaving a lifetime of great memories for his family and friends to cherish forever. Auburn Athletic Director Jay Jacobs said Lutzenkirchen's death was a devastating tragedy for his family, the Auburn family, and his countless friends. He's being described as someone who had a strong heart, um, strong faith, and burning desire to help others. Driver Joseph Ian Davis, 22, was partially ejected from the vehicle and was also killed, investigators said. Authorities said blood was drawn from Davis to determine whether alcohol was a factor in the crash. Um, troopers also said that 22-year-old Elizabeth Craig of Eatonton, Georgia, and 20-year-old Christian Case of Dadeville, Alabama, were injured. Lutz and Kirshen set school records for a tight end with 14 career touchdown catches and 7 during the 2011 season. He scored the winning touchdown against Alabama to preserve the national title run in 2010, performing an end zone dance later nicknamed the Lutzy. His Auburn career ended early when he opted to undergo hip surgery late in his senior season in 2012. Lutz and Kirchen signed as a free agent with the St. Louis Rams but was waived in August 2013. He was a volunteer assistant coach at St. James School in Montgomery, Alabama, who was working at a wealth management company. Auburn players and co coaches posted tributes to Lutz and Kircher on Twitter.